Now this one. Determine the molar mass of butane. Well, we want to find the mass of a mole of C4H10. By the way, butane is actually C4H12. Oops. Oh well. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> Well, anyway, anyway, sorry about that. It, we're just going to go with the wrong answer just so you can understand how to do it. Um, so the first thing is we need to find, we know the molar mass of one carbon is 12.01 grams. But how many do we have? We got four. So let's multiply that, and you're going to get 48.04 grams for that C4 piece. It's made up of C4H12 and um, hydrogen. So how the molar mass of hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole of hydrogen. And we got 10 of them. So that times that is equal to 10.08. Hey, you don't even need a calculator. Look, see, 10 times that decimal. Then add them together. 8 and 4 is 12. 8 is 5. And you get 58.12 grams of C4H10. Oops. Per mole of C4H10, which isn't butane, it's something else. It can be like uh, butyl-1-ene. At any rate, let's not talk about that.